So hi and welcome to my tutorial for Acronis. This goes in parallel with uh, my YouTube video for the Razor Blade 2015 um, SSD hard drive upgrade. So a lot of you've been asking for the uh, information and the video on how I backed up the SSD because I replaced the standard SSD with a 512 Samsung. Um, so this is how I did it. So the first thing you're going to need is a Cronus. So if you go to Google and you just type Cronus in, uh, and you go to this link here, which I'll post in my description anyway, um, what you need to do is download a free trial. Um, so type in your email, and then I'm going to make one up here and just call it uh, uh, you can do whatever you want here, put your email address in because you're going to need this link and you also need the um, to create an account pretty much. Click the download this one if you've got a Mac, which you're obviously not using if you can use this video, but if you did have a Mac, you can get the Mac version here. It will pop up. I always click this Acronis True Image one. Click Save. Um, and then it'll download it to your folder. Now mine goes to my download folder. Um, it depends where your files save. Um, if you push Control J, J on uh, Firefox, you can see it brings up this download window. There's an icon up here, and it'll tell you where it is. You can either run it from here, um, or you can run it from a download folder. So I've downloaded mine to downloads, and I put it in an Acronis folder. If you open this, now I don't run as administrator because I've already allowed the permissions, but some people might want to run as administrator. Um, I can do it without. Run the program, install it. Another quick thing to add in here is that you will need to create an Acronis trial account. You don't need to pay for this application, you can use it on the 30 day trial, but you will need to do that um, as part of the install. So make sure you do that. Um, you will need the email address for your username and password to allow you to access Acronis as well. When you're finished, it will pop up with this icon once it's installed, so then just click start application. Agree to the terms and conditions, you can read them if you want, uh, it's up to you. <laughs> and you end up with this screen here. So this is my general PC, um, and you get a backup window. So there's a few options on the left, just make sure you're on this one, entire PC. Um, it also maybe sometimes will give you this option as well, um, where you can pick up what you want to backup. Now you can do disk partitioning, but ignore that. You can do files and folders, but again, we want to particularly back up the entire drive of this blade because you want to continue to um, keep the recovery disk part of it. And the only way to do that is to back up the entire disk. So entire disk or entire PC as they call it here, which is basically your um, current SSD. Select your destination. Now you can pick a few destinations here. You can use the uh, Chronos Cloud, which I'm going to ignore. Um, this is a trial version. It will work fine. Uh, not the Chronos Cloud, but the the application will work and back up fully for 30 days. Um, generally, you need this as a one time hit. Uh, Ignore that pops up. You can um, browse and put it in a different location on your PC if you want. Um, some of the games I'm doing here, but um, ignore those. What I'm using is a USB pen drive, and this is what I used um, originally. Um, it's a, I think it's 256 gig one. It was plenty of space for it. Um, it uses some compression. Ignore what it says here. This is on my desktop, not my um, razor blade anyway. But this did work. You click entire disk and then you just click OK. And it will back up to that drive. Now, when it's finished, it should end up with a folder structure like this. And this is my USB pen. Um, and there's your main backup basically. 20 gig, I think it is that. Um, because mine was basically backed up from factory, so I had nothing else on it at the time. Now, if you do have some applications on there, you might need a slightly bigger drive. Um, but 256 was fine for me. Um, it's a standard Kensington uh, USB 3 drive. It takes about, mm, about an hour, something like that. Now, the next step is you're going to need a coverable media um, builder disk, basically, that allows you to boot that image. So what we've done now is create your image of the drive. Um, we're not going to use clone disks because you need two disks um, in the PC at the time and obviously 
with the razor you can only have one um, you can use a usb caddy i think um, but i didn't at the time i decided to save myself the money and be a bit tight um, i had two usb pens which is what you also require for this so you have one with your boot image on and you need another one with this recovery media builder now if you've already got a usb pen that's formatted to fat32 you can just go ahead and click media builder Acronis backup bootable usb key and then kick off the procedure if you get an error box or a little tip box here and you get an error when you're trying to do this it's because your drive isn't fat32 so i'll show you how to get around that so to get around that you need to download something called uh, rufus um, if you download it the links in the uh, description but it's on here basically um, and this is a usb uh, formatting disk there are other ways to do it and um, to format it to fat32 but i just use this generally um, and this is a downloadable link here which i'll post in my uh, description below so once you've downloaded that usual download place i'll put it again in the acronis folder um, if you run this exe again you might have to run this as administrator but i don't um you pick your device so what with usb pen uh, i thought it was a 256 it's not it's a 128 by the way originally my uh, video so apologies but makes no difference um and this might not be selected it might be on ntfs make sure you select large fat 32. Uh, you might get a different option but it's got to be fat 32 or fat 16. and then just click start and accept your warning it is going to wipe your disk so this needs to be a usb pen drive that you don't want to uh, save the data on if you do copy that to a safe location and put it back after this um, and again only use, use a different usb pen to the one you've built the image on so you're going to need two generally you could use a usb drive like i say um, it's up to you sometimes people have more idea with a caddy um, i didn't at this time i just generally use usb pens so once this is completed it doesn't take very long um, and click close your pen drive is now formatted go back to acronis I presume that's how it's pronounced by the way <laughs> um, click rescue media builder um, you want this one at the top acronis bootable rescue media um, you want usb pen you can make an iso so if you've got a cd drive or dvd rom you could also use that um, and make an iso um, again i just prefer usb pens these days i used to make isos but a long time ago and um, just click proceed and it'll run through this process now okay once that's finished you get this closed window you will require a pen drive that will accept 500 meg as well if some of the first time um okay some of you keen eyes on it i'm using this same usb pen here and this is purely because um just for this demo um, I've already done the install and I don't have a spare one at the minute so but you do need two USB pens you might get away with using one and um, what you could do now is copy the image files back onto the USB pen um, so the 20 gig partition file but um, if that doesn't work then you're going to need a an okay so put the USB pen into your PC and then reboot it and you'll get an option on your BIOS that says press uh, F1 to uh, set startup BIOS, uh, F9 for recovery menu, which you don't want, you want to push F12, and that'll give you this blue option here. It says boot menu. What you want to do from that then is select your USB pen. Mine here is called a Kensington Data Traveler. Yours will be different. And you want to pick the one that the Acronis boot media is also installed to, not the one with the recovery disk. Uh, you can see that my Samsung H, um, SSD is also visible. Obviously, you need your um, one thing to point make obvious here is that you need to have the new hard drive now installed at this point. Do not um, have your old hard drive, the one that originally came with it. You now need the new one that you wish to use going forward. So make sure you've installed that, and it should be visible on that boot menu. Um, if not, you've got something wrong. You need to go back and check my original video. Um, and how you've installed it and just check you've done everything correctly and got the cables right Acronis will now give you this option um, you need to pick option one and this will load the recovery manager it's a bit like Gnaught and Ghost um, and the way it works if you ever use that um, and then what you need to do here is go into the recovery disk 
you need to pick your um, recovery file and click OK. I can't show you that part here unfortunately because I don't have the file but um, you will then visibly see this on yours. You'll go to removable drive that I said to use only for that recovery file and you should get this recovery media disk. Um, that man was called Blade Recovery. Um, you'll see it here. You click on that, click OK, click Next and it will restore the image. Once the image is restored you can just reboot your laptop as normal um, and it should then boot into the Windows operating system. If it doesn't, just check your Windows boot options in the BIOS. Make sure you set your SSD as a primary uh, boot drive. Um, or you could press F12 again like you did for the recovery USB drive and pick the SSD and see if it boots. It should boot from that image. If not, um, then you'll need to have a look at your recovery disk and make sure the backup's been taken correctly. Hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.